Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Richard and what I'm going to cover on this one is how to program, set up, access and use the radial menu of your Intuos Pro, your Cintiq or Cintiq Companion Wacom tablet. What the radial menu is, is a... this is a radial menu. It's a round thing. I call it a pie. And it has pie slices. So on this one I've got Delete, OneNote, Excel, Word, Xmind, Dragon, Aftershot, and Photoshop as my little slices. If I click on one of these, whatever is there it will do. Uh, so I've got OneNote and this is an open run, so if I click there it'll open and run OneNote. And there it is, Honey Garlic Chicken. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now obviously, when you're talking about a radial menu for a, an Intuos tablet, an Intuos Pro or a Cintiq or a Companion. You're talking about digital editing, digital drawing, and digital painting applications. So mostly it's going to be about that. So let's take a look how it works there. I've got uh, Photoshop. This is Photoshop. And you can see I've got a picture in here. Isn't that interesting? i got something to play with. Okay, so this is an interesting subject. Really, really bad weight uh, balance and a couple other problems. So I have got a radial menu set for Photoshop. It's unique to Photoshop. So if I press the, the start key, there it is. I've got all these things, brush panel, save, adjustment layers, step backward, step forward, capture window and tools. Now this one is unique because Photoshop does not have keyboard shortcuts for adjustment layers. I had to make them. And it took a little while to fiddle around and find the ones that I could actually make into uh, the keyboard shortcuts I could make into uh, adjustment layers, but I did. I did it up here. It's in the edit menu, keyboard shortcuts, layer, and you just, uh, let's see, that that's under the uh, application menus. In the layer, you just scroll down. And these are the shortcuts I've got for the, the adjustment layers. None of these were there before. Uh, so I had to put them in. Some I had to kill other ones. And uh, uh, there's a list on my site, that you, what, what I've done. If you want to do that, you can just go to my site and uh, and you'll find it there. Okay. So anyways, we've got this picture. We want to do something about it. Well, probably the first thing is we should get rid of this color cast. And this is something new I learned recently. It's this. Uh, adjustments. Match color. Neutralize. There. That cast is gone. The picture's not great yet, but the cast is gone. Okay, so now I'm going to use my radial menu. Push the button, choose an adjustment layer, and I'm going to go to curves. And there we go. Okay, and here's the curves uh, dialog and adjustment panel. Uh, this is CS5, by the way. And I'm just going to take it, I'm going to grab this so it comes across to the, the toe, just where the histogram meets. And that's a bit better. Now let's grab this. Let's pull down the middle a little bit. Give it some... No, that's not too good. So I'm going to drag it down to here. And I'm going to take one of these up here. Add a bit of contrast. Fiddle around with it until I'm happy with it. Uh, there we go. We'll, we'll stay with that one. Okay. So that's my curves. And I got that right from the radial menu. So I'm going to close that down. Now I want to crop this a bit. It's uh, kind of needs some cropping, doesn't it? So I'm going to go to my radio menu once again. And there's tools. So I'll bring it over a bit here. I've got a tool thing. And that, that little thing here means that there's something underneath it, as does that one. So tools. I've got the brush, clone, crop, quick selection, paint bucket, spot healing eraser, and eyedropper. So obviously I'm going to take the crop tool if I want to crop it, right? So I've got my crop tool. I want to keep these rocks out of it if I can. Um, let's see, we're going to bring the whole thing in this way. And mess around. I guess I can take it up a bit. Give it some sky. Maybe move the whole thing up. And you can see by the rule of thirds that these people right here are on that bottom. That bottom rule of thirds. Am I just... Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I can I can do that. Isn't it fun watching me crop an image? It's just too cool. Okay, there we go. That's it. So that was done. Two of the adjustments I did were done right from the radial menu. And, and I could do a whole bunch more. Uh, 
but that that's good enough if I want you know I, I love black and white so let's let's change this to black and white uh, we've got adjustment layers I've got a gradient map in the black and white I just like the gradient map I think it's pretty neat there we go now it's a black and white if I don't like that I can get rid of it and I can do another another adjustment layer let's do this one okay it's a black and white now I can fool around with these and these are the different uh, sliders and you can see what it's doing uh, the greens not many greens should be some cyans blues and magentas in here so that that's using the uh, the, the black and white adjustment layer so that's what you can do with it. it just makes things a lot easier so now that we've done that maybe it's a good time to look at how to access it and all the rest of the goodies behind the scenes okay so this is where it all happens it happens right here in the tablet properties and you can see I've got all others that's my desktop and everything else Photoshop elements and as I click each one you can see this thing is changing so now Photoshop elements has its own unique uh, radio menu Photoshop has its own unique art rage studio has its own unique and I can go through I've also got XMind Excel um, Corel paint shop pro on here so I've, I've got a lot of programs up in here and you can make one radial menu for each program that you want to have a radial menu for it's kind of neat okay so let's go back to Photoshop now before I do anything here um, when you finish doing this I want you to do one thing if you want to maintain sanity this is your Wacom desktop center if you don't have this and you're using the Intuos Pro the Cintiq or the Cintiq Companion probably it'd be a good idea to go get the latest drivers from Wacom and install them and you're and especially if you've got one of those three tablets I don't know if it goes backwards but I know it goes for the uh, pros the Cintiqs and the Cintiq companions you get this thing and this is like your desktop center so it tells me if I need updates there are no updates for my drivers the orientation is right-handed touch is turned on pen and button settings I can see them I can open the pen settings the express key settings or the touch ring settings here's the important one back up back up and restore settings to the Wacom cloud or back up and restore settings to the computer now before I delete uh, all the shortcut keys I've got for the Photoshop on my radio menu I want to make sure I've got a backup to the cloud so I'm just gonna click here I'm going to do backup tablet settings to the Wacom cloud I'm click on that and there it is and I'm gonna call it late night okay there now and it's setting up or it's it's backing those things up so anything I do from now on I'm not gonna mess it up because I could always go back and get them I can bring them back in again so it'll just take a few seconds here to get it done to the cloud uh, maybe it's a bit easier to do it right on the uh, on your computer uh, but this works okay it's done so I'm gonna get rid of that I'm going to bring my uh, my Wacom tablet properties up again this you'll find in the control panel or in your system preferences if you're a Mac user it's exactly the same in both so I'm gonna hit this default and it's gonna take everything away which is sad but now that I've got it backed up I'm okay so default everything's gone okay so now if I want to program this Photoshop I wanna put things in here now the first one brush panel that's pretty good that gives me uh, effectively F5 and brings up the brush panel where you can do your uh, you know the dyna dynamics for the brushes like the uh, pressure opacity color texture all that stuff so let's go to the second one here and I make a lot of mistakes so I'm gonna make this a, a step backwards okay clear now if I want to get rid of this in here and I hit the backspace key the backspace key will become part of that uh, that keyboard shortcut and there's no such thing as control S backspace backspace so I have to clear it from here and now I want alt control so I, there we go and this is step backwards okay 
So let's see. I'm going to lower this. And I'm going to bring up my radio menu. First, let's see if it brings up the brush panel. There it is, the brush panel. And this is where shape dynamics is pen pressure. Uh, transfer is opacity. It's off. I could turn it on if I want. So that's, that's what that does. It brings up that panel. Now the second one is step backwards. What was the last thing I did? It was turn a, a black and white thing, wasn't it? Um, it was one of the adjustments in the black and white. So it, it stepped backwards. And I could keep doing that. There, we're back to the color. Okay, so that's the, uh, the way you can step backwards with it. So it's real quick. So let's bring this up again. Now let's see, there's other things you can do in here. Let's go to the tab. Now in the function, there's all kinds of things. There's uh, keystroke, which you'll probably use the most. Open run is really convenient. Sub menu is convenient. So let's do an open run. Let's just say you want to have bridge come up every time uh, you, when you need it, you want it, okay? And you don't want to have to go finding it. So we're going to do open run. We're going to go browse. We're going to get on the hard drive. Oh, not that, that one, this one. Yeah, all right, that's better. Uh, program files, Adobe, Adobe Bridge, and we will find it over here, right there. Double click on it, Bridge, okay. And there it is. So let's see if it works. Okay, got my radio menu. Oops, bring it down. See, the radio menu pops up wherever your cursor happens to be. Okay, so I'm going to put it there, there. Bridge. Let's see what it does. Does it, in fact, bring bridge up? There's bridge. Well, it's loaded. It hasn't come up on the screen yet. <laughs> it's down here in my taskbar. Oh, it says it encountered a problem. Okay, so there you go. Well, anyways, despite that little kerfuffle, um, bridge does work, and it came out of the radial menu. Okay, so let's go back to another one. Uh, we've got our so we've done brush panel we've done step backwards we've done bridge now let's say we want to put in the keyboard shortcuts like I've done let's see I want to make sure I get the right ones I did this earlier and got them all wrong I got them backwards so I'm going to check to make sure I get the right ones okay I think I've got it so we're going to go here and we're going to make a sub menu now sub menu is in this little tree there's the top of the tree this is the sub menu and when I click on this, it gives me this, everything in here. So let's go back to this and let's change this submenu to adjustment layers. That's the ADJ, ARS, and that shows up over here and in here in the little pie piece. So now we'll go to here and we're going to make the first one. It's going to be a keyboard or a keystroke and control F1 is levels. And so that, that's good. Okay, so now we're going to go to the second one, which is disabled, and it's going to be Control F2. Oops, Control F2. Hit the button, and that's curves. Now you can go around and do all of them and I've got a keyboard shortcut for like 12 of the uh, adjustment layers for Windows. You can find it on my site, but I'm not going to go through and, and do all of them right now. Um, but let's see if it works. Okay, we'll, we'll lower this and we'll get our radio menu, adjustment layers, there's levels, okay, and we can bring this up a little bit to the thing there make it that. Ooh, that's kind of sharp, isn't it? Take it down, wherever you like it. Okay, so it did work. That's kind of neat. Now, we'll do another one. Bing. Adjustment layers. Curves. As if we need more curves, right? Oh, and we'll bring this up. See, curves is, is levels with attitude. Right, there, there you go. Or we can go up. Wherever you like it, you know. It's not the uh, adjustment, it's how to, how to get to it easily. 
Okay, so that's that's done. So what have we done so far? We have added on a, a stroke, uh, an F5, the, uh, the key, keystroke, a bridge uh, open run, and a submenu. Now you can go through and do all the rest of these. I'm not going to do it. You find your own keyboard shortcuts, the ones that you love and use all the time, and you put them in. Okay. Now, the next thing is you've got to be able to access this. You access the radial menu in one of three ways. You can have one of the function keys, express keys, set for it. And you can see I've got the bottom one set to the radial menu. You can access it through one of the pens, or through the, one of the buttons on your pen. Now, this is double click and right click. I can change this to um, double click. And I can change the top one to radial menu if I want. And the third thing you can do is go to the touch menu. And my gestures has one right here. Three finger tap gives you the radial menu. That's it right there. Uh, I suppose I should put it there. So that's uh, that's kind of neat. There, now that's gone, I can do it again. There, OK. Uh, and it's bringing up the, uh, because we're on this, the control panel it's going to bring up the the one for all others so that's it so you got to have be able to access it and then you got to be able to program it and then you use it and you can program it for every program on your computer if you want to okay so that's how you do it that's how you use it have fun with it and if you got any questions about it uh, shoot me a question through uh, either YouTube or through my site the contact form and uh, thanks for staying with me for the whole thing I hope you enjoyed it and hope you have fun with the radial menu Thanks. Bye.